What's up everyone? Well, Phil from Down to Mob here. We are just outside of Durango, Colorado at the Elevated Overland headquarters. I'm so stoked, you guys. I'm officially moved into the truck, full time on the road, have everything I need right here. And that feels so good after being on and off the road for months at a time and two and a half years of the priority being building the truck. Now the priority is having fun. But I want to show you parts of the build that I rushed through in the last couple months and haven't got a chance to show you. Today's video, I want to show you the drop down table. Check this out. I'll do this one handed. Boom. I had help from a few people, so we'll talk about that and show you the things that I did myself and show you how maybe you could build one of these tables yourself too, because it's really not that complicated once you get the right latches and all the right stuff. You helicopter guy, can't you see? I'm trying to film a video here, yeah, man. Okay, thanks, we'll see you later. Oh, so let's see how we built it. And uh, we'll show you that right now, okay? See you there. First thanks goes to Jonathan for plasma cutting our raw piece of aluminum. Next we got it in Kevin's hands so he could reinforce it and make it even stronger. Where's that El Camino chassis man? About to be bent and broken. Wow, we were meant to bend and make tables. This is not meant for 100 pound. No. Not at all. Nice. So right now we are bending half inch little brakes in the sides just for strength on this super cool old brake that Kevin's had here. So we just did this one and we'll do the other two, all the corners but one. So the piano hinge will go here and then three corners will be broke there. Um, and then that's why I cut these little squares out of them so you could get in there and actually bend them. And then now this one will bend over to that so that's why I cut those squares out just a moment ago but yeah super cool getting this table built up all right now we're going to sand our beautiful piece of aluminium with the same sander bop, bop, that we used with this bop, bop, bop that we used on the dinette. I love this little snap-on guy. Have you ever done the dyno on this thing? <laughs> what the heck was that? What the heck? But that's a lot. Oh yeah, it's the lowest air hose. <laughs> What do I do about this, Frodo? You're chilling. What do I do about this? Send it. Really? Send it. Holy, what do I do? Professional opinion. So that's the rivet sticking upside down. These things fit super duper tight. And this is our other hole. Our first rivet here. Just did my first hand rivet ever. Sweet. Wow, that looks neat. Woo. Oh, that's why. Holding all the way down. There we go. 
Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love riveting. And now we'll just keep going down the line. Got it. Let's get these quick release little uh, hood pins. We're going to use two of these at the top of here to release the table. I'll link these below on Amazon. They're literally hood pins for a vehicle. And I used them so far on the bed flip. I'm gonna use them on my countertops as well to flip up and secure them, and then this. So the downside is that we will have a little bit of that sticking up into our table surface right here, but um, whatever. These clips are in. This is gonna be sweet. I'm gonna rivet this cable into here with this orange anodized washer. And it's done. Oh my gosh, I had to just put the camera down and focus on getting this right. You guys, look at that. It's super duper tight. And then this will run up to the L track up there. Look how cool and clean that looks. I mean, link all the materials below just so you can see how we're building this drop down table, everything we're using. This um, pre packaged, pre cut, I actually had this on hand. So we're going to drill a hole here. We'll rivet this. I'm using this hand riveter. This is also from Amazon. Everything's from Amazon. Amazon special, baby. We got our rivet in our gun. We'll put our washer on it there. And then we're gonna put this loop of the cable through it. We're gonna go ahead and we made sure to drill just the perfect size hole. Oh, of course, we're gonna go ahead and poke that rivet all the way through. And here we go. And that just crunched first time around. Super duper solid. Crimped the top, or broke broke the top pieces off. These are the top pieces of the rivet. Um, broke them off the top. Looks super clean, no bolts or anything. Pretty dang clean on the bottom too. And uh, yeah, I'm so pumped with this table, you guys. So it's ready to install on the rig. So you'll see why this is the last step. And oh my gosh, I'm absolutely loving this table. Looks so sick, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, it just looks so good. Oh geez, I just hit my scooter. That's cool at the cargo hatch. Lots of tables. Um, so anyways. <clears throat> so that clicks in there, like the hood pin, and then to figure out where to drill the hole. This is why this is the last step once it's set. Just kind of run it into that and then that's where we need to drill our hole. So we'll drill our hole for this thing to sit inside here. <laughs> that's pretty cool actually. When you press the uh, button here it just pops right off. <laughs> you guys are on the table right now. How cool is that? <laughs> Shove that in there. And then that's what it's going to be like. So we'll straighten this out. Cut the vinyl from where it's going to be. So that it bonds straight to the camper. <clears throat> but that's what it'll look like. One of those there and one of those there. And that's it. And I dropped the scooter again. I hit the scooter again. It's pretty much all made of aluminum, this table. Other than, of course, stainless steel cable and hardware. But 
the pins are aluminum, the table is aluminum, the piano hinge is aluminum, the rivets are aluminum, this is aluminum. We've got an aluminum drop down table right on the back of the rig. It's about 40 inches wide, uh, I believe about 20 inches across. Um, we've got it covered by the 270 awning. We've also got the rigid scene light so we can use it at night. And to pack it up, you just click it and it's done. Seen how the table works flawlessly, comes down so easily, goes right back up, click click we're ready to drive well thanks for watching this video of my drop down table i'm going to be using this thing a ton in future videos for my outdoor kitchen and just a place to set stuff down so thanks for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe we'll see you on the next episode where we head further into the colorado backcountry while living full time out of my jeep gladiator only question is are you down to mob?